Well, in my previous coaching experiences, uh, at Division II, we were in a league that had been in the national championship game many, many times. Um, when I first left North Dakota State to go to Temple University, lo and behold, here's the Big East. It's Virginia Tech, it's Syracuse, it's West Virginia, it's Miami. Uh, you can't really figure that you're going to get any tougher kind of competition. And I go into the CAA and I say, holy, holy mackerel, it's not just four or five teams, it's eight or nine, sometimes ten. And uh, I would say we definitely deserve to be looked upon as being the premier league in FCS football. Um, when you take a look at the history of uh, five teams getting in the playoffs two years in a row, uh, the number of wins in the playoff consequence uh, is very, very significant. Ultimately, we are the epitome on any given Saturday, anything can happen. And uh, you know, lo and behold, you take Richmond, they win the national championship. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they finished third in the South last year. So uh, that speaks very highly of the caliber of competition in this league. And I don't think you're going to find any better top to bottom competition than that. Well, I've always been one that believes in community service. And our university has a component in the expectation of all students to be involved in community service projects. The Bone Marrow Drive is one of our main stays as a community service project. This past year, a individual, and his name's Trigg, uh, Trigg came in and spoke to our team, and he was in need of a transplant. That was uh, one of those choke you up kind of moments. And our players really have, have understood because now after that conversation with that gentleman about the needs of people and that kind of thing, all of a sudden there is a, a face that you can associate with. And our players, I would say, have, have embraced this and are willing to run with it. Uh, to the point where they're giving us ideas as other schools that we should be contacting to see if they want to get involved. And uh, it, it's kind of one of our pet projects, maybe the pet project, and uh, it's making a difference for people. Lo and behold, after we go through our drive, we find out that there has been a match found for Trigg, and he's gone through the, the process, and uh, you know, <clears throat> someone chose to save his life. And, and that's a really important part for our players to be able to be uh, associated with and find it out. The other part is, is when we first started going into this, there was a, uh, a fear factor that, oh, this is going to be really painful to find out what type I am, when in fact it's just stick a couple of cotton swabs in your mouth, stick them in an envelope and send them off. It's very painless. And, and our guys have really done a very fine job of spreading through campus and uh, selling what it is for someone else and how easy it is. Um, I think we've been over 300 both times. Last year we were at 401. Our goal is to stay over 400 all the time, and, and I think we can accomplish that.